Hello, this is Nick of Time. Thanks for joining us once again. And today, we're going to talk about uh, a tangential topic, not uh, directly talking about the physics of time. We'll be talking about a big question, namely, is more critical thinking needed in modern physics? This talk and the previous talk represent a two-part uh, look at that question. Uh, incidentally, you don't have to see them in that order, one and two. You can see them in the order two and one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. One is not a prerequisite for the other. But part two is about Professor Alexander Unziker, uh, who is an expert on particle physics, and who wrote a book about the discovery of the Higgs boson being a fake. And the reason why I put these two together is that uh, Professor Unziker is looking at the physics of the very small but when I read a book about cosmology, the physics of the very, 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 very super large, uh, I came to some of the same conclusions years before ever seeing uh, Professor Unziker's ideas. Uh, and my ideas really overlap to a great deal with Professor Unziker. So I think that's an interesting um, comparison. So without further ado, I'll hand it over to Professor Unziker, and we'll look at uh, a presentation that was made by the CNPS on Professor Unziker's ideas about the alleged discovery of the Higgs boson. So without further ado, here are those ideas. We in the CNPS are known to be critical of mainstream science. We are often asked about the latest quote unquote discoveries of science. One question we often get is about the Higgs boson. Although he is not a member of the CNPS, Dr. Alexander Unsicker is a physicist and author who is very critical of particle physics and in particular the Higgs boson. His book, The Higgs Fake, How Particle Physics Fooled the Nobel Committee, is a great example of how some scientists today are challenging the very foundations of mainstream science. Dr. Unsicker says in the beginning of one of his lectures, to call the Higgs boson the discovery of the century is preposterous. The standard model is a particle zoo, and Unsicker says, it annoys me too much to see another generation of young scientists deterred by a dumb, messy patchwork called the standard model. I'm going to argue that particle physics as practiced since 1930 is a futile enterprise in its entirety. We are going to go through Unsicker's seven deadly sins for particle physics. Number one, overwhelming complication. He said, good physics is simple. The number of variables in the standard model is ridiculously high. Number two, suppression of basic problems. None of the great riddles of physics that have persisted for a century have been solved. Number three, historical ignorance. We are in the midst of a scientific crisis, that is, our current system has gone nowhere for so long, it is now obvious that something radically different must come along. Number four, the there is always a signal illusion. Unziger says that scientists fool themselves by filtering more and more noise, and what is left will always be the answer. Number five, theoretical wishful thinking. 
An arbitrary meaning is given to the most uninteresting phenomena. Today, we have bottomness, hypercharge, strangeness, isospin. Particles are these little packages with these labels. To call all particle a conglomeration of labels is a psychological displacement of how much one has to distance themselves from reason. Number six, the big parody. We are too many to be in error. Opinions are established by groupthink. Everything is kept alive by giant infusions of cash, but there are no end results. Big science may in fact destroy great science. Number seven, lack of transparency. It is impossible to check the results from raw data. That means we must rely on the scientists' word that what they say is true. So, what do we do? Dr. Unsicker suggests we need freedom. Simple as that. We don't need censorship. Obviously, something has gone wrong. Some established concepts are not reasonable. We need to define new criteria for scientific evidence. And that is one of the many important reasons the CNPS exists. The John Chappelle Natural Philosophy Society. Restoring Critical Thinking. You can find us at www.naturalphilosophy.org. Thanks. So, thank you for joining us. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the different topic. I think you might well enjoy Professor Unziker's book. Uh, so, hope you can join us next time. Thanks.